today I'm going to show you how to use my designs to publish listings in bulk to a Shopify store. I will walk you through how to connect the two apps, how to then create the listing data and mockups in bulk, and I'll show you the publishing process as well. So for this integration to work, you need both a My Designs and a Shopify account. I will leave a link to both of those in the description if you're completely new to them. Uh, if you're already logged in and registered with both, you have a store set up on, on Shopify, then all you have to do is log into your My Designs account and head over to the account settings, which you can find up here in the top right corner. And then you want to head to shops, on the left where you can then click connect Shopify and this will take you straight into your Shopify store into the app store section where you can then install the my designs app alternatively you can just head straight to your Shopify account and you can search for my designs right here in the app store so there's two ways to get here but yeah just so you know you need to install this app this page will open up where again you just have to click on install and then it will show up your Shopify store as integrated right here in the connected shops section. So very straightforward and easy. And now we're ready to head back to the homepage right here and into the listings tab where we're going to create our listings for Shopify. So once you've opened up the listings tab, you need to click on home up here, which will bring up the collections system or the folder system as I would like to call it within my designs. This is essentially where you're going to organize your design files and store your listing data you can just click on add folder right here to go ahead and create a, a new one you can call it Shopify and use the default template I am going to head into a subfolder right here into Philip demos and then click add folder to stay a bit more organized and let's just call this Shopify demo you might want to title it according to your niche or whichever topic you're going to publish designs for and then we can use the default template as well so now I'm going to click add new folder then I'm going to click on that folder right here that's just been created and then hit open folder in the bottom right corner for this next step we need to upload our designs into this folder and you can do that with this button in the top right corner just choose the first option from the drop down and then drag and drop your design files into this and then you can hit upload all and confirm this for everything to be imported into this folder. Once that's done, we can go ahead and create the listing data for all of these designs right here. And there's a few ways to go about doing that. You can do it manually, for example, and type in a title, tags, and description sort of one by one right here, or we can utilize AI to speed up the process. So in order to do that, click on this button right here and select all, and then you want to open up the quick actions and choose vision AI from the drop down. And what this will do is it will scan your design files and create a listing based on what it sees. It will find relevant keywords that are related to your design. And you've got a few options right here to choose from. So if you want to sell something other than a t-shirt, you can choose that from the drop down, and it will be taken into consideration for the listing. Uh, for this example, I will just choose t-shirt though. And you can also select the platform. So at the time of recording this, there's only Etsy and Amazon Merch, but by the time this video goes live, there should be a Shopify option right here as well. So choose that from the drop down, and then the rest of these settings can basically stay the same you can give it some custom instructions as well if you want so add a bit of a prompt to this to customize the result or with the product features you could choose the exact product so let's say we wanted to sell a gildan 5000 that will then also be built into the ai description you don't have to do that these are just optional steps but let's go ahead and generate this listing data so click on this button next and then confirm to run vision AI. So here we go. As you can see, the listings have been populated for all of these very, very quickly. And bear in mind that these that you're seeing right here are optimized for Etsy. So if you choose Shopify from the drop down, you should get different results and you can still edit these listings. You don't have to use them 100% as the AI spits them out. You can still go in, make some changes right here manually, make some edits to the description, the tags and the title if you want to. And you can even do that in bulk as well. So for example, let's say I wanted to add some additional information underneath right here, underneath the product features for all of these listings at once. The way to do that is head to quick actions, click edit in bulk, then change the field right here to description. Then you want to hit the enter button twice on your keyboard. And then you can basically type in uh, whatever you want to add. Uh, this is just an example, of course. And then the preview section down here will show you what it's going to look like. So I'm scrolling down right here underneath the product features. We can see that this is being added. It's being added to all the listings that they have 
selected. Alternatively, you can also change the action. So you could do find and replace, find and delete. You can overwrite an entire field, or you can also add things to the front. You've got a lot of options right here to quickly edit your listings in bulk even after the AI has created them. Next up, we're going to create the mockups for our designs. And as you can see, I've changed the view right here. We can see the designs without the listing data. And I did that with this button up here, the grid view. And if I hover over the main file slot down here, you can see these designs are currently at 4,000 by 4,000 pixels with 300 PPI. And that is probably not the right dimensions for a t-shirt print file. So before we create the mockups, we need to create the actual print file that suits the product that we're creating the mockups for. And we also wanted to obviously print properly once an order is placed. So in order to adjust the dimensions right here in bulk, what we need to do is make sure everything is selected, then head to quick actions and open up the canvas system. And in here, you need to go to templates and then find the product of your choice, the one that you're trying to sell. In this example, I'm going to use the Gildan 5000 because I already added that to the description. So click on the product you want to sell or search for it up here. So if you wanted to sell the better Canva, you could just type in 3001 and you will have the option come up right here. In this case, choose the Gildan and you have to also choose your print provider. So I'll just choose my designs for this example and choose the front print option right here. And now, as you can see, the dimensions of this canvas have changed. What we can do now is click add listing file and click add to all, which will open up all of our designs in separate documents right here. And now we can resize one of these and kind of make sure it's aligned to the top. Then we go to position and click fit width right here. As you can see, that's going to stretch it out to the edges of our print area. And then we can right click on the design and hit sync. And now it's going to apply that same placement and the same size to all of the designs right here that have been opened up. Some of them might not be perfect, so you can still individually resize these. And for example, center them with this button. You might want to flick through and check that all of these look okay. But from there, we've very quickly resized a lot of these designs right here. So just double check, these are all okay. And then uh, the next step is going to be save. So you want to click save in the top right corner. For the output file slot, I'm going to use the main file because I just want to overwrite that. I want that to be the print file and the file we use for mockups as well. So choose that from the drop down, and then make sure it says PNG and hit save, yes overwrite all the files. Then you might have to wait a few seconds and it's going to add that job to the queue right here and it will process for a little while to resize all of these designs in bulk. Once that job's been completed, you should get a little notification pop up in the top right corner and then you can head over to the quick actions again and open up the image mockup generator. In here, we want to type in Gildan 5000 and hit enter. That will filter out all of the Gildan mockups and then just choose a few that you like the look of. You can also hit the star symbol to save them for next time. And once you've selected your first mockup, make sure to enable the multi mockup feature because this way we can actually select multiple mockups at once and have them generated for all of our listings in bulk. You also need to select the color of the t-shirt or the product in these mockups. So by default, it is black, but our designs right here are optimized for a white or for a light background. So in order to get the colors right for these products or for the mockups, you can open up the product related colors option and type in your print provider. So in my case, I'm going to use my designs as the print provider, and you can choose from these options right here to get an exact color match. So sport gray, for example, if we choose this, and hit generate preview, you can see that the mockup looks really, really good. And now just click through the different tabs up here, change the color, and then you're good to go to create these mockups all at once. Once you're ready, click generate mockups in the top right corner and confirm this with the drop down or with the pop up right here. And then again, that job will be added to the queue, it will process for a little while, usually only takes a few seconds, but then you will have all of your mockups show up in these currently empty slots right here. There we go, job completed successfully, and we have the mockups appear. If you double click on any of these slots, you can open them up and view them all at once so we can see what the different mockups and the colors look like. There we go, that is our mockups done. Now we're ready to actually publish these listings to our Shopify store. So to initiate the publishing process, just click on publish in the top right corner and then choose Shopify from the drop down. This first data page should be fine by default. Just double check that these fields are all 
mapped correctly. Then go to pick a product and we want to search for the Gildan 5000 here, of course. Choose that from the options and also select your print provider of choice. I'm going to select my designs right here because they are the cheapest option for the Gildan 5000. And then we first of all need to select the colors that we want to sell. So I'm going to choose white, light blue, sport gray, and sand because those are the colors that I chose for my mock-ups and I will deselect black which comes on as a default. Then I'm going to click on show additional images down here which brings up the pre-generated mock-ups or the mock-ups that we just generated before and I will just click onto all of these right here to have them added to our listing. Now you can change the order of them still after they've been added right here to kind of choose which one shows up in front as the thumbnail and by the way you can still add additional products to this listing as well. You've got an option right here to add some sweatshirts, hoodies or other things to that as well. If you were going to add a Gildan 1800, for example, you would just have to choose the print provider and then you can also add some of these default mock-ups into the mix. So let me just show you that example. Right here we'll deselect black and then you can have any of these added to the listing too by clicking on the color symbols at the bottom. Obviously, if you wanted to have it perfectly optimized, then generate the mock-ups ahead of time. But I just wanted to show you that that option exists. But yeah, I'll just click out of this and just focus on the Gildan 5000 for this tutorial. Next up, we need you can go to choose prices and let's just start off by typing in 24.99 into this replace box and hit apply and then because the 2xl and the 3xl are more expensive to print you can individually change those sizes as well so you could change this drop down to 2xl and increase the price slightly hit apply again do the same for the 3xl also and there we go now the approximate profit for each size is almost the same now we'll go to preview publish info and by the way you can also save your published settings as a profile that way you don't have to configure the mock-ups and the prices every single time that you go to publish so if you want to do that to save time in future just hit save as profile up here give it a relevant name and then click save profile with this blue button you can review the data make sure everything looks okay and then just make sure you have the right shopify store selected and click publish and there we go after just a couple of minutes you can see all of these listings are showing up on my shopify store in the product section and they're active on my shop so i can now open up any of these right here and view the listing with all of its mock-up and the description it's ready to purchase be added to the cart and if a customer places an order it will be automatically imported into my designs and fulfilled through whichever print provider you chose during the publishing stage. If you want to learn more about my designs, then make sure to check out this video next, where I walk you through five very useful AI features that can help you out as a print-on-demand seller.